just talk us through the history of the RAG uh, renewal process, because whilst I would love to claim uh, <laughs> claim it as my own, uh, it's it's a process that you've developed over years of experience. Oh, I think RAG stands for red, amber, green, and I think you know when I was in um, in an, working for an insurer, it was always a challenge looking at your renewal list, um, and in that environment, you've got to have a discipline to identify those cases that could actually trip you up and that's something that, that we were really hard at um, in, in my old company um, and and I, when I started consulting and working with brokers there didn't seem to be the same disciplines as there are in my previous world and it was just really trying to bring that into the broken environment and see could it be adapted in a way which is productive for those brokers? Uh, and clearly it is. And we've had um, you know, say a few examples, two particularly that stand out, where the entire renewal focus was changed fundamentally by the work that we did. Uh, and the results have been impressive ever since, to be fair. So that gives me the complete confidence that what we're doing is absolutely right absolutely and and we've talked as well around this haven't we for another another thing that we're uh, in the pipeline at the moment about what you can do once you've got this process fully embedded what you can do with the information in terms of developing um marketing and sales strategies that that work with with your uh prospect base and 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 uh, all of that kind of stuff. So I think get it right and it becomes a fundamental platform in which you, in which you can start to build the organic growth uh, from new business and things like that. Inevitably, it does. I mean, all brokers have got expertise in certain areas. And, and I think by engaging more with the client, it enhances that knowledge. And it also promotes a broker to their clients who deal with, you know, corresponding clients as well don't they so the tentacles sort of extend quite quite freely and quite quickly um so yeah absolutely i think it's um it's a key part of their of their sort of business but it's making the most of what the worlds in which they operate all too often i've come across brokers who see new business opportunities in an area that they've never really developed before whereas i've always thought if i was a broker you know, every broker's got their own DNA and they inherently talk the language of certain trades and sectors, whatever, uh, and they're good at it. Well, I've always believed you should focus on that and, and work within those sectors where you've obviously got the, the ability to engage and uh, you talk their language rather than going into something that completely left field um, that is unknown to you. Yeah, 